everyone welcome to my channel so hope you all are doing good so today's topic will be very interesting uh, splunk upgrade i am getting uh, so many requests to create a, a video on a splunk upgrade because splunk upgrade is very crucial or or we can say very critical uh, for any of the organization so it should be very careful uh, before you do upgrade it's not simple straightforward thing that you just extract uh, uh, the tar ball uh, to the existing environment it's more than that so we need to be very careful uh, during the upgrade process so in this uh, series i i'm going to explain you about uh, 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 from basics to advanced like basics what all uh, prerequisite we need to do like uh, also uh, like if we have we are running older version 6.x six, six or 7.x uh, whether uh, we need to go to intermediate version then to latest one and what what is the difference between these versions so i will uh, give you detail in in upcoming uh, videos so let's begin uh, then the, the very first thing is uh, in upgrade discovery okay so uh, discovery that mean is uh, you need to you need to understand your environment is it a standalone or is, is it a distributed environment so distributed uh, like uh, standalone generally we do not have uh, I don't see any any customer who has a, a standalone for production. Generally, a customer keep it for uh, uh, test environment or or like say any POC or these kind of very small scale customer keep the standalone environment. So the very first thing is discovery discovery. That means you need to know each and every component of uh, Splunk if you are working as a consultant uh, uh, to the company so make sure you go you understand the environment first uh, you without understanding please do not uh, install or do not start upgrade because uh, many a times i have seen the scenarios where where people like uh, a customer do uh, the upgrade themselves and they end up uh, like reinstalling or 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 cleaning their environment without knowing the things so it's better to discover the environment first what all things they are using what all inputs are there how many data per day they have ingested whether it's it's a standalone or uh, or it's uh, distributed uh, uh, then how many types are data, uh, types of data is there dashboards and everything so uh, it is very crucial to uh, discovering the environment and also keep track of uh, everything whether whether it has a uh, uh, default certificate uh, how many data is there uh, lookups also i will i will give you more detail about what all processes are there and also in a distributed environment uh, you need to keep track of each and individual things like say uh, how many managers are there how many nodes are there managers should be like if it's a distributed environment definitely four four managers should be there uh, one one is uh, deployment server deployer then cluster master license manager license master and then monitoring console so five managers will be there so generally uh, uh, people keep uh, those managers in like say in one one or more than one things but it, it is better uh, to have all the splunk components in different uh, different uh, what you can say different instances so it is uh, best practice to keep it if uh, kind of if we have uh, limitations over costing so there is 
uh, we can include more than one insta instance with through some caveats so yeah so going back to the upgrade thing uh, distributed environment you need to uh, keep note of each and every component like uh, say you need to maintain uh, inventory where you have name of uh, name ip virtual ip and everything you keep it with with the uh, details going to the application folder then going uh, to individual folder going uh, then keep note of uh, server.conf of each of the folder folder so you need to keep note of it how how it is uh, like uh, configured also uh, discovering that means is uh, like you need to know the the pass for sim key as well so that is very crucial in case you need a pass for sim key so you you should have it handy in case of disaster or in case of failure of uh, failure of uh, like say any of the upgrade so uh, after that like say first of all uh, take all the managers details what all the manager whether it's on the same server is different server so keep note of it then go back to uh, go to the next layer that is search head whether the search head is in uh, distributed environment or, or standalone environment uh, does it have the premium applications if if then then we need to take extra attention on a pre uh, like uh, premium applications also if like say uh, it is a standalone then keep note of it if it's a, it's a, a search it cluster also you need to follow the search it cluster uh, rolling restart if it is applicable for the newer version if it is not then you need to go to different uh, method of doing uh, upgrade then if you go uh, further down the line then it comes like uh, index indexing layer so also check whether you have cluster index index cluster enable or it's a, a simple index uh, indexing so generally generally we in most of the scenarios there a customer creates a, like a index clustering environment so keep note of each and every each and every cluster though it is 100 200 2 4 any 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 number just keep note of uh, everything uh, also as I mentioned for each and every uh, uh, each and every instance take a look on server.conf application application what all applications are there and uh, then after that uh, for managers if it's uh, cluster master so you need to uh, check what all things are there in master app folder if it's a search at cluster so you need to take hc 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 cluster sh cluster slash apps folder you need to take care of that folder how many uh, uh, apps are there so those are apps uh, uh, deployer uses for uh, uses to push those app to cluster so take a note of that after that um, if you have deployment server so uh, deployment apps you need to uh, uh, take a look on deployments app how many apps are there and and also the server class or server class and uh, the things clients details you need to take now you have managers then search head and after that you have indexers so those detail you have uh, you 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 have discovered every each and everything uh, on that then you go to the next layer so that layer generally uh, is optional whether you want to take in in same same uh, uh, activity uh, or uh, you need to perform a separate act activity for forwarders so forwarders are uh, n number of, of forwarders uh, will be there in any of the 
uh, organization though it is uh, universal forwarder mostly it will be universal forwarder and heavy forwarders if you have heavy forwarders then keep note of it if you want to perform uh, activity with the same same CRQ definitely it will go uh, with the CRQ or, or a few of the process for the change process so uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, also keep track of each and uh, the application installed in each and every uh, component each and every instance although it is uh, search head index uh, forwarder yeah so these are the highlight highlight points where you you can discover customer environment uh, yeah so that's all about this video uh, i will i will come with the uh, with the next video uh, and i will explain further how can we uh, perform upgrade and other activities thank you